has come to our family. Here we go, ready for level three. Welcome back. I'm Sam Healy. JT Turner. And you are watching the Mythic Games YouTube channel. We are uh, steadily progressing through the darkest dungeon, and we've only reached level three of the darkness. It gets darker from here on out. That's past halfway. <laughs> we passed halfway. We're good. We almost died. <laughs> we came so close to dying. I'm predicting one of us is going to kick the bucket. <laughs> Why'd you point at the crusader? Is gone. That's true. He needs to change the paint scheme of his armor or something yeah. because he looks like a target. So everybody comes after him. But we'll see. Um, we just finished defeating the fanatic. So uh, if you haven't seen that, we've done four videos so far. We did two videos for level one, two videos for uh, level two. Level one, we, we fought and defeated the Necromancer. Uh, level two, we fought and defeated the Fanatic. And so now we're headed into level three, and we have chosen the Prophet. Prophet. Yep. Which may or may not have been a good choice, <laughs> a choice because he's pretty nasty. You'll see later on. Um, so hopefully it ends well. We're headed back to the hamlet, and uh, after having defeated the fanatic, we have pockets full of what fifty-seven gold. Fifty-seven. So uh, we are going to see what we can do to try to ramp ourselves up to get to. Um, the Prophet yep. and all of his little minions in the level three. So first things first, we turn the Hamlet event over yep. to see where it goes. Did you shuffle these? I did. Actually, I put major all the ones that we've gone through on the bottom so that we can continue to... Because as you go day by day, you don't want the same event twice. Sure. So I made sure that we're... Okay. They're all shuffled. Right. All right, they're shuffled. All right, here we go. So Hamlet event numero uno, labor force. So we get three days. That's not bad. Um, but down here, it says families. Let me read it. Families banded together, seeking to renovate one of the Hamlet's buildings. Their altruism, a welcome but mixed blessing. Roll to upgrade a building at random for free. Oh. For free. I was going to roll for him to block first. You cannot finish. visit it this week, though. The whole week? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, discard this event from the deck. So we get a free upgrade to the Hamlet, but we can't go there because they're working on it. Hopefully it's the wagon or something. Oh my know. goodness gracious. Okay. Well, this could be really good or really bad. Before we do that, I do have to turn in my uh, hopelessness, affliction. Okay. So you're no longer perk. hopeless? I'm no longer hopeless. I am now blind. <laughs> um, I am now a stress eater, so... When I eat, I get stressed. You're both stress eaters. I'm a... No. I stress faster. Oh! I'm a stress faster, so... Oh, she's the opposite. She's then. the opposite. That's a good <laughs> thing. I'm a stress faster and a stress eater, so... Um, what's that uh, nursery rhyme? One can eat no fat, the other one can eat no lean. <laughs> We're somewhere in the middle there. All right, and I'm also turning into my positive virtue. Okay. And both of these are going to flip over to the white side. And I'm going to get a positive quirk. So 
Ooh. I'm a skilled gambler as well. <laughs> I'm a st I stress faster. I'm a stress faster. I'm a skilled gambler and I'm nervous. So huh. I don't know how that works out. <clears throat> I don't get to do any of that because I actually took care of myself you last time. You did take time. care of yourself last time. <laughs> so we're rolling now to see what building gets built for free. Yeah. Which one we All can't right. touch. Let's see. There we go. Six. Six. The graveyard. The graveyard doesn't have an upgrade, does it? I do not believe that it does. So... Does it not? I don't think it does. The graveyard just has the one effect. Okay. Regardless. So I guess we'll re-roll that. Alright. I kind of like that. <laughs> How about oh, three? Snap. How about we don't go to the tavern and no. any stress? Good thing you took care of yourself. Oh, man. All right, so tavern. All right, so we'll take tavern, tavern two. Level two. Tavern two. So tavern two is going to allow us to uh, get rid of three stress for one, six stress for three, or nine stress for nine, which is pretty stinking good. But Especially with the Fanatic. We, yeah, we cannot go there this turn. So there is that. But we do get it for free. Yep. But we are not able to go there. So, so there we go. Gold. All right. So we'll now we roll to guy. see where see that it. little dork where he's goes. Working he goes at. 10. So Just we can't buy trinkets anyway. Right. No nomads this for week. Now. Yeah, yeah. Nope, just for this day. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Just for this day. That's right. Just he moves every day. stinking day. Okay. All so right. We cannot heal any stress. Not here. So if we have For stress heal. All week. Yeah. I have no healing stress. Now for all intents and purposes, what was the um the Crusader not the Crusader, what was his name? No I'm, The Fanatic. The Fanatic. Oh, what was his right. town effect? Um if we use one if of our one of abilities these, we, we get we get debuffed. Yeah. Okay. For four right. turns, I think. Okay. So we're still under effect of that since we're in that phase before, but we defeated him, man. We shouldn't be in that effect because we knocked his butt out. We're still filling the. We're still mama over said, from it. "Knock him out," we and did. we did. We did. We All right, made mama, because mama's right. So if we have some, I wonder how many different to... illusions I can get in here mm -hmm. in a chain. Keep them rolling. <laughs> All right. Well, I can do a little tiny bit of stress hill. Mm. You have. You can stress hill yourself. Let's see, zealous speech. Yeah, we can that actually can heal everybody. Um, I don't need it. But That's that bad. only it can only be the first action, and it's minus one preparation. It takes days. a whole day. It takes a whole day. Um, uh, minus one, so it ends the entire day. Nobody mm -hmm. else can do anything else. Okay. So I don't know if that's Let's worth keep it. that to day three, just in case. Right. All right. So for your first day, Crusader. Crusader. Let's see. What do we got for diseases? He has a disease. Yeah. He's the only one right now. Resolve tested. This is a this is not a, a horrible disease. Not a horrible disease, so I'm not worried about diseases. However, he does have 17 damage. Yep. So that's where I'm probably gonna go uh now and heal ten of. So we'll go and go to the sanitarium. So three, three. bucks. And that takes away 10. I think I gave you the money. Huh? You got the money over there. Yeah. Got it. So oh, you gotta two, give me two back. Two back. Or it's your change, buddy. No, it's finder's fee. There we go. Just keep the change. All right. Um, Highwayman is... I would like to... Uh, what are you thinking about doing? What happens if we upgrade the blacksmith again? What's a level 2 blacksmith do? There was something good there, I think. Or maybe it was just using one of your higher level skills for the, for the week. Let's see here. So, so we got a lot of money. I'm wondering if we should upgrade one of Blacksmith these 2 says uh, use one of your skills as its level 3 form yeah. for the next quest only. Mm -hmm. so that's possible. What about the guild level 3? Or level 2. Let's see, that's the blacksmith, so we'll put that over there. What's that, guild? Guild level two. Of course I put it... Guild. Guild, guild, guild. No guild. No guild. No guild level two. No guild level two. Okay. Well, then I want to get rid of two quirks. I'd like to go to the abbey with her. Mm -hmm. 
And she's really the only one. You guys don't even have bad quirks anymore. Nope. Um, Told you. We need to get rid of this quirk, and that's just because we know the prophet's coming up, and he is really stress heavy. <laughs> um, so both Watch of my it. guys would like to get rid of quirks. Why are you fretting, bro? Not to fret. <laughs> Not worried about it. Put the crusader out front and go. Bam! <laughs> Move, boy. <laughs> uh, um. All right. So. Da, 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 da. Do you mind if I go to the guild then? Nope. All right, I will go to the guild and uh, upgrade. Mm, not a hero card. I think I'll save that for later. I'm just going to upgrade his skill for two bucks. So, uh, but that bucks, does cause two XP. two XP as well. So two XP. There we go. Oh, sorry. Um, and I'm going to get. I'm going to upgrade either Grape Shot Blast or Wicked Shot. While you're doing that, uh, we can slice. I mean, I am going to I'm going to Seven. first off, I'm going to go here and spend five of this to remove two quirks. So give us five back when you get a chance. Um, what do you think? Wicked slice is 14 and nine for damage, 14 crit, crit one, accuracy 10. And then Grape Shot Blast 2 Did the is... Wicked Slice pull you forward, or that was just a... No. No, that was the Duelist oh, Advance. Just, yeah. That was the Duelist Advance. I got rid of it, if you'll remember, because of that. Mm -hmm. It pulled me out of position, and a lot of my other stuff wasn't able to happen. Yep. So, um... So I think I'm just gonna... I might go with, um... See, Grape Shot Blast is cool because... It does four to th up to three different people, so that's up to twelve damage. So that's the cool thing about it. Yeah, but they got to be in one spot. Yeah, they all have to be in one spot. So I'm probably going to be doing at most eight damage mm -hmm. whenever I use Grape Shot Blast, because rarely do all do three monsters show up in one spot. But it does give a debuff for two turns. Yeah, but I don't know. Makes that crit easier. I don't know, the Wicked Slice is good. You can do it from all three locations. Yeah, so. I think I'm going to go with that. And just keep that for, mm -hmm. you know. So there There's we really go. only one less damage. Okay, and for her, she's going to go. There's not a lot of options left. I can't go here. I don't really care for the Blacksmith. I'm going to go spend three of our bucks, three of our gold, to get two extra dice. For our next run, two extra provision dice. Here, see if your great robber's in there. She will. Yep. Okay. Have the heart of darkness in here too, if you want it. I do not want the heart of darkness just yet. Not <laughs> until you find me a guild upgrade. <laughs> um, three of that's spent. Three. One and two. Right, and sir, and we are on day two already. That. Wow. Look at all these beautiful characters. We need to play with one of them. That means one hmm. of these has to die, just so we know. <laughs> um, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm okay. I got five health here, and you know we I'm both thinking just real flipped, hard so. about send, sending the Crusader back to heal up. The Crusader back? Yeah, to heal up because he he went and healed ten. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get him back to full strength. And then heal him too mm -hmm. on that third day. Yeah. Okay, go for it. I think so. We don't need to heal. We don't need to remove diseases. So, so that's your spot for the next more, three days. Three more bucks. And that's done. And then... Hmm. I wanted, I'd wanted. i like to remove one quirk. With the yeah. grave robber. Yeah, go for it. That's two more. So if you give us eight. Get rid of this nervous. back. Um, I think I'm going to go gain some more provision dice over here at the survivalist. So I'll spend three and get two. Right on. And then for her, might as well do an upgrade, huh? Did we roll again for him? Nope, we did not. 
I better do that. Uh oh. Before we get too far. Too late. Six, Six graveyard. graveyard. All right. It's all right, second day, yeah. Uh, that means that she needs to go and do an upgrade. She might as well go do an upgrade. Yeah. Um, so I'll upgrade one of my skills. We'll just keep on rolling. That's two dollars. Two gold. All right. Judgment. That's it. Dazzling light and judgment. So you're just gonna That's do that? It. All right, yep. I'll do some clean up here while you're looking. Great so, rubber. Another spot for the uh, yeah. nine. Back to the nomads. So no nomads. Which we ought to really think about buying more trinkets eventually. Yeah, I know. We've been we've been doing pretty good without them, but well, I think the ones we have are pretty good too. Mm -hmm. So we haven't really needed to. Uh, I mean, we use them all. Yep. At least I use them every time we go into the dungeons. Mm -hmm. So all right, he's going to come here to the sanitarium, spend three more bucks, and he'll. Oh, wait, that was a 10. Okay, so I still have two, two damage. That was a 10, yeah. Gone. Oh, well. All right. Okay. Um. Yeah, this sucks. Why? The first time, the first mm -hmm. foray into this is going to suck because of, because of uh, not being able to go to the tavern. But you can keep your twelve and heal up five each. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. But is that worth it? He'll take the debuff, but I don't think that's worth it, really. Yeah, we're gonna have to have some. Yeah, that is, we we're gonna have some stress we, we problems. Can maybe, we can mitigate. We can mitigate stress. Somewhat. in the dungeon, somewhat. So yeah. um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Crusader, um, thinking about sending him to the guild. Yeah. And uh, upgrading stunning blow to two. Go for it. So I'll do that. So that is uh, two and two. So two experience. I'll put, I need a three back. And I'm just going to give you my three. <laughs> <laughs> well, has it been one of those days or what? It's kind of weird. I'm going to end up with ten all of a sudden. Hmm. Nice. Easy trade. Okay. And she'll go. She doesn't need to remove quirks. Getting a positive quirk. Um, she's already got two provision dice, but she's already got two positive quirks too. So we don't have, since we can't buy a trinket, really our best stuff is to. You know what? I'm going to have the Vestal chant. I know she's going to get a debuff for three, and she can hand me. Mm -hmm. That'll heal us all one stress, which really is only one, but everybody else gets a buff for three turns. So she's going to take a debuff we, for we three. We all heal for one? Mm hmm. One stress is all. Um, she gets a debuff for three turns. One, two, three. But everybody else gets a buff for three turns. Well, all four of us get a buff for three turns. Okay. So, probably doesn't wash, but and then I'll have her go here and just. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that's fine. I don't want to get another positive quirk. I'll have her go here and spend three more. So this should be a five now. Okay. This was my three. I'll spend three more and suck up two more of these dice. So, and that will be our last action. Last action. So we're done. We're done. We're going into level three. See you there. Right on. Yeah. Welcome back.
All right, so we're heading into the level three dungeon, and we have chosen our level three boss to be the Prophet. The Prophet, while we are in the dungeon, it says whenever an unholy monster is spawned in battle, each hero suffers one stress. So that's not cool. So, yeah, there you have that. The Prophet's text here, though, says, Yet all these paled in comparison to the Prophet, the toothless miscreant who boasted an uncanny knowledge of the ancestor's ambitions. No penalty or torture could silence <coughs> his raving tirade, threatening to rouse the townsfolk and ruin everything. Thus, he lured him to the dig, showed him the thing, and watched him in triumph. Thing is capitalized, by the way. Uh -huh. And watched him in triumph as he tore his eyes from their sockets and ran shrieking into the shadows, wailing maniacally that the end was upon us all. That's because he saw the thing. He saw the thing. Right. Hopefully I don't see the thing because that sounds frightening. All right, so we'll go ahead and keep that right picture. there as long as we can. You'll probably get it here in a bit anyways. Yeah, there he is. Notice. In all his pseudo glory. 151 hit points. 151 hit points. 151. Hit points. 151. We're going to die. Almost three times with that. All right, yeah. so go ahead. Level three, right. our first quest. Our first quest is warm up the halls. <laughs> so in here we have three darkness rooms, a couple curios, a couple battles. Um... But our goal is to go to the dark rooms and illuminate them. So we got to go there, spend a torch to get rid of the darkness in those rooms. So, so if we don't get torches, so we actually each start with one of our dice. Each is going to be a torch. So oh, half it of our dice has gonna, to start that way. Is yeah, torch. it's going to start with some torches. Okay. So. But it says the dark recesses of the ruins house even more sinister, potent shadows. We must light up the halls, torches, and bring light and warmth, courage and hope. Thus, you're tasked with torches in hand and a righteous purpose. Hmm. We're going in. So we're going in to get the place ready for a party? That's right. Interesting. I don't know that I would answer an invitation to a party in this general location. So we're getting... <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> we're getting experience points for every one of those dark rooms we fix. Okay. Um, and I think we get... We each start with a torch, um, use the torch in the room to light them up in addition to its standard effects. So we're going to take the standard effects of the room first, So, Great. which is not good either. Right. And then, um, what was I going to say? Nope. That's, that's it. it. Okay. Each, each of us starts with one torch. All right. So we're going to start with four torches total. There we go. And then we're going to roll the rest. And we bought a bunch. So. We're also each going to start, or we're going to get 10 gold for entering this dungeon like champs. That's right. So join into our party here. I'm going to stick that over there and then. Okay, yeah, cool. Either way. Um, do we need to cover up anything else? No. Just the rules. Yeah, just the... Yeah. From from that down is all, all we need to worry about, right? Yeah, it's all good. Okay. So we got two bandages, one antidote, one food, two shovels, and a boatload of torches. So... I say we turn both of those into shovels. Two shovels, no extra food. I'm not... Food's the only it. other one. All right. Two shovels, no extra food. Who needs to eat when we're on a job? Nobody. Okay. I'll eat. All I'll right. Eat back home. So are we going to scout? You know, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I don't know why we would not scout. All right. Fair enough. We're so, scouting. You're going to go insane. <laughs> I'm just putting this up here so that it can be seen right how on. much we got. And you know why. All right, so we are scouting. So we each have to take a stress. Yep. There we go. All right. Crusader. Oh, look crap. at that. We started. Oh my gosh. Highwayman. We started <laughs> out with three stressful darkness. <laughs> well, 
That's why we got sent in here with a this bunch of torches. Very dark, dark place. All right. We need four. So you can either take two stress, lower our torch by one. I think we need to lower our torch by one because that gives us that plus one crit. Now, I know the monsters mm. get it too, but... Yep. All right. So that's yours. I am going to go ahead and take two stress like a champ. <laughs> And for this one here, I'm keep on using that word. Burn one of our torches. I'll take two stress and okay. I don't know. No, that's fine. That's good. I We're think. gonna need them for all those rooms. We are. So we we'll are. We are. Many, but all right. Okay, so that eliminates this guy right here because this isn't a right. That isn't so connected. We just get to see which one that one is Shh. technically. And that's our first combat room. There we go. There we go. Here we go. I'm gonna pick a good one. You pick a good one. Oh, fine. There you go, the, the beacon, beacon of, light. of light. We've seen this one before. Stressful darkness in uh, the places that have the little no orange size. burst. Uh, corridors are too dark. Heroes ending there suffer one stress. And then there's one area that has the beacon of light. So that is way up here. And if we end our turn there, we recover one stress. So, there you have it. Where did you put those? Over there. Yep. And we should populate that. Yep. All right, so there we go. Crusader's always in front. You let me know if you want to change this at all. No, that works. We'll stay back here. And then there. Uh, so I think those are done. Correct. And now we got to populate here. So you got her where she needs to be and her where she I needs started. to be. So I need to come in here right there. Nope. Right here and right here. We got a cultist acolyte. Cultist Acolyte. There. And they are in the defense. We got a Bone Rabble. I've seen that guy before. Bone Super Rabble red. is ready. <laughs> now, now we can play. Now we can play. Oh, look at this new guy. The uh, Oh my gosh. The Brigand Raider. Level 3. Oh dear. Here we go. He wants to be in the front. Oof. 17 hit points. 17 hit points. He's right smack in there, too. And the last one. Okay, so the last one's a bone captain. The way that works is because he wants wants to fit on the board. This cultist acolyte does not want to fit on the board anymore. There you go. So we're going to get a level 2 bone captain while we're here. What were you saying before we started recording? Or was I, that while we were recording? I, no, I didn't About say. About two and level twos and level threes showing up at the same at the time. same time. They're coming. Oof. This is no bueno. It's a way to start. Das ist no bueno. So okay. we got one with 33 hit points out there, another one with 17, and a little bone rebel with six. And we have two unholy monsters there, so each of us gets two stress. Due to the profit. <laughs> Ow. Who am I looking for? The captain. The bone captain. The with the giant mace. Oh dear. He got, I moved him to the one that has the bosses and the large the bosses. monsters. Bosses and large monsters, man. All right, all right. This and dude, he goes there, yeah. He's actually gonna go, yeah, ranged. Wow. This is super not cool. Super amazing. Okay. We are in round one. Fight. Fight. All right. This is it. I'm not going to be able to read those at this distance upside down. So well, I'll help you. I can, right. I can read pretty well upside down. And if we get some a little bit easier, hey. Right on. So we'll start with this bone rabble. Okay, the Bone Rebel, um, he is in the front, so... Front. He wants to do a one, he wants to do a bump, bump in, in the, the night. night. So, uh, he goes Gets for the, the closest. closest, 
and uh, it's crit one. He can he moves one if nobody's there. So okay, he's gonna move there and just hang out. Yep, because nobody's in that room with him. So that's Next that. one is a crusader. All right, crusader. Um, we're going to move one. That's because as fast as you can go. Yes. And we're going to smack the bone rabble in the face. What does he have? Six? He has six. Yep. You know what? <laughs> I could just stay there and yell at him, but I don't want to because I want to try to get out of all this mess. Um, so I'll do uh, smite uh, two. So that is going to be uh, accuracy of ten. With a crit chance of one because of our torch being down, and crit two because of this little token right here. Got it. So we'll put that over there. So crit two, accuracy ten, and that's oh. a hit. So that is nine damage to the bone rabble. Poor guy. Squish. Squish. Level one skeleton, of course. He's gonna fall pretty quickly. But now we've got to deal with the level 2s and level 3s here. So, pretty nasty. That's yeah. the end of my turn, though. Well done. Create the stress, please. What's that? Gain the stress, because you're in a dark corridor. Stressful. We are in the Dungeon of Darkness. Yes, we are. Oh, no, the darkest dungeon. Is Everybody. that a highwayman? That's the highwayman. Yep. Um, so he's over there. I do have line of sight on this dude. Um... Pistol shot two. He's not marked, but um, you may want to get out of the dark. One to two away, right? So, should I go after this guy, or should I start hitting the bone captain? He doesn't bleed. He doesn't. That's that nasty, wicked slice. Yeah, he does. His resistance to blight. The little guy, seventeen health. 17 health. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. I can go... Does he? Yeah. Wow. He 11, does. 7, 16, 10. <laughs> it's really hard. Alright, I'll try to Wicked Slice this guy, I think. Uh, does he bleed? He does. Maybe I want to do Open Vein on him then. Right on. Yeah. Yep, I do. So yeah. that's uh, accuracy 11, uh, crit chance of 2. Minus 3 dodge, so accuracy 8. Okay, so accuracy 8, crit chance 2. There you go. That's still yeah. just a hit. So that is 7 damage, and uh, he bleeds 2 for 3 turns. So that's 13 damage altogether, but... Yep, 13 effective. But we still want him to, we don't want him to get three attacks. Alright, so it's his turn next. Yay, Bob. So he's, right, so he's got to roll the die. Attack, yep. One to seven, he's going to do number two, so... Go ahead. <laughs> he's going to do attack number two. I say! <laughs> Um, so we rolled a seven. Okay. So he's going to do this. What does that say? Shank? Gonna Wait a minute. Shank. If he's up here, uh -huh. we have to roll. Okay, so if he's in these two, yeah. got it, got it, got one it. Seven. So seven, he's gonna, he wants to do the two. Shank, so it's That's a crit one. Uh, accuracy ten to the closest. Which would be the highwayman. Uh, which will be the highwayman. So we'll go ahead and roll. Accuracy seven. 10, eight. 10, yep. minus 2, 8. Crit 2. Crit 2. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, that's cocked? Come on now. Is it? That looks like a 1 to me. Okay, it's a 1. Fine. Okay, let's see how that starts it's a out. Crit, that's 16 damage. 16 damage and a stress. And a stress. <laughs> I don't think we wanted that. Oh my he. Okay, you are on death's door. 16. Ugh. <sighs> There you go. All right, so... If anybody thought level three would be just as easy as level one? I am at two. death's door. 
Although two wasn't that easy, though. But I also bleed three for two turns. Uh-huh. So every time that bleed goes off, you're going to get to roll that dice. Unless we use three for two turns, a but bandage. You are, that's correct. Can I use a bandage right now? Three for one turn. Or do I have to take it? No, I have to take it once, don't I? You so I'm the going to roll on your turn, but I have to take it right because it ha it fires off at the beginning mm -hmm. of my turn. So I'm going to have to roll that dice. You are going to have to roll that dice unless oh, I come heal you. My heave. If we lose a person, the first <laughs> touch in the first. <laughs> come on now, can't happen. All right, big guy goes, <laughs> and he wants to do a one. All right, so let's do a crushing a blow crushing against blow. the closest. He wants to be one away. Yes. That'll be so the Crusader. That's a Crusader. Yep. Accuracy 10 modified, crit chance 3. 10 modified, so yep. it's going to happen. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my Accuracy gosh. You need to, you need to start you roll. You need to start when rolling you roll. my attacks. <laughs> you need to start rolling my attacks. Otherwise, this is going to be a really it's short be a video. Really short video. <laughs> And we rewind and start over. That is 11 damage. Oh no, that's... What, really? That's 17 damage. <laughs> and one more stress. So I get to take... Um, so you get to roll this. Oh, let's uh, try it because, because of, of this. Your, because, well, you get to roll it anyways. Not yeah. a one or a two. That's a ten. Or so you would I'm, just take an affliction. Yes. Oh my goodness. I take an affliction? I yeah. thought it was a negative quirk. No, it's an affliction. I knew that. You're getting ready to go nuts already. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, you're hopeless. <laughs> well, you, that that's you, fitting. You learn to increase stress on everybody else. That's that's fitting. Right off the bat. Oh my gosh. Whose idea was this? Oh, 17 um, damage? 17 damage. So 10, 5, wow. 16, 17. I just got through healing that, <laughs> and it took two did, days, two to, days do it. to do it. Can we do an intermission? Maybe we have to. Uh, <laughs> just a quick this was... regroup. All right. So then game over, man. Game <laughs> so over. So we're gonna go next. Um, she gets to go first, and unfortunately, that's still a stressful darkness room. Um, so range ignores. Does he have armor? He does not have armor, just one dodge. Dude, 33 and armor? Could mm, you imagine? Yeah, well, I gotta get out of the darkness. Our stress is gonna go through the roof. Alright, she's gonna move there. Actually, she's not. She's gonna move one, two, three. She's gonna move there. And you said he's 13 effectively. We need to. Get, I'm just gonna try to get him out. Yeah, um, no, I mean, don't wait. Don't let him attack two more times. He's we bleeding. Can't. He is bleeding, so if you do... Um, I'm going to do a dagger throw at him. Crit chance is three. Accuracy is... You can do eight damage. He'll bleed out on his seven. next turn. Seven. Accuracy, seven. Crit chance, three. Okay. That would be an eight. That's a miss. <laughs> can I use my accuracy stone to add one to that? This is not going well. Yes, you can. Okay. So that's a hit. That did hit. Yeah, so we'll do six damage. So that's 12. I got it here. You got it? Okay. Yeah. That puts him at 12. And that's it. So 12, 13, 14. Why did I think that'd be enough? That's not enough. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. That's what she's got. So onto the Vestal. The Vestal is going to step up one. And heal him with Divine Grace. Okay. Crit chance four. Accuracy, whatever. Okay, so seven, so he gets five health back. And that is her turn. Bunch of counters there for you. Okay, that would be round one. Oh dear. I'm not sure we won round one. We definitely did not win round one. But that was definitely a level three welcome party. That was definitely Good a level night. three welcome party. And we're not done yet. So you know. If you didn't already know. <laughs> 
We're not quite done yet. All right, here we go. I don't want to flip it over. Oh dear. Okay, well, he gets to go first. All right, so he bleeds two. Yep. Let's see, went 14. Yep. Oh, we need to clean that up. He wants to ruin my life. He wants to do a 10. So he wants to do a one. He wants to do a slice and dice against the most crowded room. That's close. He wants to be zero room from that. So interesting enough, he wants to do it to this room, but he wants to go in and join them. And he can't fit in there, so he cannot attack them with it. All right. He's indecisive. This He's turn. indecisive. That's he really much. wants to go after those it's Target rich two. environment. He doesn't know who he wants to attack. Fair enough. All right. I'll take it. Look at that. Wow, dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I figured if we all had our turns together, <laughs> we have a better chance. So he wants to do a two. He <laughs> wants to do a crushing blow against the closest one space away. I wonder. Well, yeah, that would that's, be him. That's him because he's... Yep. They're in the front. All right, accuracy is nine minus one, so accuracy is eight, crit chance three. I don't want to roll this. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> right. That's a hit. Uh, at least it's not another crit. Well, for 11 damage. Oh, gosh. And he still doesn't push you. Push you. Um, so I was at 17, mm -hmm. so I'm at death's door again. Wow. Okay. Um, so this is like, he's our tank and he's at death's door in round two. Wow. What is up with this? He didn't visit the armor on the way in town last time. 24 and he's at death's door. All right. Well, right down the line, Crusader gets to go oh, first. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, did that have any bleed attached to it or anything? It didn't add a push. But okay. He's, uh, but he's resistant, resistant to, push. to push. Okay. Twice. <sighs> All right. You stupid. Uh, zero to one, zero to one, zero, zero. Hmm. I'm thinking. Yeah, he's unholy, right? He's So it's plus he two damage unholy, to unholy. Yep. So I'm going to come in here. And unfortunately, uh, we forgot to turn this back around. So I do have a speed stone. I could go one, two. But I can't. That's full. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lose another stress. Okay. Um, so I do have a buff. So that's going to be plus one, plus two to my crit. And I'm going to use smite two. So I'm going to have accuracy ten. What is his thing? Nothing. Dodge one. Dodge. Oh, yeah, there it is. Dodge one. So it's accuracy nine. Crit two. two. Come on. I need a crit. Or not. A or hit not. will suffice. That is 9, 10, 11 damage. Alright, well, so that's a slap back anyways. And then I take another stress because I'm still in this stupid darkness. Yep. So now the Highwayman is going to... He's at 14. Just needs three more to just go. Just needs three more, huh? Um, get up here, do man. I have a shot at this guy too? You do. All right. So what I'll do is oh, that's a good um, idea. Yeah. I'm going to uh, slice this guy and shoot at this guy. I think. Yeah. Although if you end up here, at the end of your turn, you'll heal a stress. He's already gone. Mm, they both already gone. Oh, so that's right. You they might both shoot this gone. guy and then and then move in here. Try to get a little bit of not much, but a little. Yeah, but some, but yeah. some. All right, so we'll do a pistol shot against uh, this guy. Um, that is a uh, crit three, uh, accuracy nine. Nice. Well, hit. Um, that is seven more damage. And he was at 12. So 19, yeah. And then we'll move in here. And heal one stress. Okay. Oh That's wait, I, I didn't bleed, so I should have bled. So that puts me at fifteen. Jeez. <laughs> Forgot to bleed. There you go. Don't forget to bleed. 
All right. Oh my goodness. So her turn. She's going to attack this guy. Wait. We still got to kill him though. Yeah. He's not going to die on his own. No. And um, she's going to be stuck healing. So. Uh, well, I don't. My stress is okay. I'll attack. I'll attack him first. Just with a quick. Well, I'll just do it with a poison dart. Cause does he take blight? He does take blight. I'll attack with a thrown thrown dagger. Okay. So crit Against chance. Against this guy. Mm -hmm. All right. So crit chance four. Got it. And accuracy seven. He's got good dodge. Oh yeah, a crit. crit. Oh well, he's toast. So each of these will get a stress relief, and he's out. Nasty dude. Really nasty dude. There's gold leads. Okay. And then I'm going to do a poison dart at the big guy. Because he does take blight damage. And that is crit chance 3, accuracy 10. So 5. So it's just 3 damage. Plus my stack of blight. So actually 22 man oh man okay all right and so the vestal is going to heal the crusader and then move and she might just stay there does you need her to move so you can get out <laughs> Come on. Horse roast, man. Quit whining. I'm a donkey on the edge. <laughs> All right. Good chance. Five. All right. Okay, so that's a crit. So she gains a stress relief. Stress relief. Nice. And he heals for seven. Ooh. Uh, heals for seven. Mm -hmm. Out of 24. So that puts me at 17 again. He's immune to stun, so I can't stun him. I could raise our torch level. Or I could just do... I can do a judgment to him. That's, he's at 22. He needs 11 more. I want to get out of the corner. You want to kill him? Is what you said? I want to get out of the corner. Uh, I don't want to run. You run away. Run away. You can run through. It just takes your whole turn. Oh, that's true, because... You sure yeah, you'd but... rather me run, move than heal you? Yeah. All right. I'll be all right. All right, I'm moved. Famous last words, but I'll be all right. All right. We're on round three, then. This guy's got to fall this round. So he's going to take three damage. Why does so he got to be... fall this round? Oh, no, no, no. We have another round. We got another round we got still. fourth round. Yeah, that's true. What's <sighs> the chances that he goes first? Answer that. I don't know. Math. You shuffle 20%. in it. You shuffle in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like eighty percent. <laughs> Crusader first. Crusader first. Okay. Um, run. Um, so we're just gonna go. I'm gonna slap him first. Yeah, we're gonna go pink and then run right here. Uh, and then I will zealously accuse this Cretan. Of blighting this land with his presence. Why don't you smite him first and then run? Because it's more fun. Oh, okay. Sorry. Just kidding. I'll smite you him. You haven't... Yeah, because I get that plus two and holy. You haven't so, zealously accused get, anybody today. I know. Yet. It's been... I'm itching. I'm jonesing for an accusation here. All right, so I got crit one, crit two, and uh, accuracy nine. So it's a hit, but not a crit. So that's 11 more damage. Okay, that's it. That's it. Game over, dude. Whoops. And just for... I, I did move out of that that corner, just so everybody knows. Move oh. out of that corner. It doesn't matter. It doesn't just matter. Kidding. Putting just him back kidding. with the bosses. There's more in there. Night mm -hmm. in the morning. Do we have... Our what? I put them all on the bottom. Our camp is only a four? What? Our camp's only a four, yes. Oh, did I fail to mention that? 
You absolutely did. Here's the. What uh, did I do with that? Oh, Raider. There you Raider. Go. Okay. Oh my goodness! A camp is a four. You ready to camp? Dude, I'm ready to go home. We don't get any XP for that, man. I don't want XP. I want to live. I got my XP. My XP well. says stay away from them stinking raiders. Might as well scout first. So there. Yeah, I guess so. It's still only one room. I know. It's, it's only stupid, one room. This... We only got to make it two more spaces to do a double. Which? <laughs> <laughs> that dude's about to go crazy as well. Mm, so there's our first darkness room. So we just got to run in there and, and we gotta run throw in the there. lights on. Mm -hmm. Got to run in there. It's going to drop our torch by one. But we got to run there first. So we'll get ahead of ourselves. Are we going to camp? You better use Man. those four up to drop some stress. <sighs> or whatever you'd like to do with it. You can use our camp up. We're obviously not going to last in this dungeon for too long. 17 damage here and 15 damage here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got to do stress. So, all four? Sure. Two, three, four. Jeez, this guy's Louise. hopeless already. So. Yeah, he is. He's like, oh, I haven't been doing that either. Would have just been. Would have been two, right? Oh, yeah, it would have been two. Was so, that the first round that that happened in? Yes. Oh, go ahead. Let's see how one, much stressed out you want to make everybody. Two. No. No stress. All right, fine. No stress. Okay. You're not going to count my... I'll be no, going to roll that one. <laughs> I'm not re-rolling that six. All right. Just let's, saying. Let's do some exploring. Okay, here we go. Crusader. I'm keeping it. I don't, <laughs> don't care. We are breaking the rules. <laughs> we are making the rules. Uh, so oppressive it. darkness for up here, or whatever you call it. All right. Okay, so we got darkness there. Um, we might as well burn up two of these torches to get rid of these two darknesses. Okay. We don't need any more stress. And then I'm going to burn up a shovel to get rid of that yeah. one. Good night. And we got to go to the darkness room. So we either use a torch or lose a light level, and then we spend a torch. So we use one torch to keep us at four. We spend one torch to light up the room. Well, we have to do both. Yeah, it says in addition to so standard one effects. One provision for each player is this: um, use the torch in dark rooms to light them up, in addition to its standard effect, and clear them. Wow. Okay. There's one experience point. Yep. Two torches. Man. We've got two torches left. Let's do some scouting. Two torches left. Yep. Gotta find one more room and run out like scout. Scout. Screaming lunatics. Nope. Come on. Nope. Oh, come on. I'm thinking Curio's room, right? Yeah, but we're not going to be able to use a torch on it, so... Curio's room only has a 50% chance of being a battle, so I, I agree. Let's go let's, for it. Let's do it. Hey, Robert. Man, i got to stop rolling those things. Oops. This is a really dark section of the dungeon. Crusader. Oh, great. And Highwayman. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> there is a reason they sent us in here with torches. Yeah, well, we just um, used them all. So, you need to eat some food. For this. For your yeah. food. For your... Crusader okay. is hungry. You can't take the stress. We're going to have to lower our torch, huh? Yeah, we still get the plus one crit, though. We do. Because it's three, four, and three. Mm -hmm. So, but that's getting a little too much. Alright, so here, I have this as well. So I'm going to have to take two stress. Yes. We don't actually have to take two stress. Thinking if we decide to go out after the next room, we could let the torch just drop down to two. And then use the torch, take our experience, and leave, right? Sure. As long as we're not going to move on any farther. We're going to go for the third room. Well, we're, we want to get our two experience points, right? That's our average that we want to shoot for. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying I might use the torch. If we're not going to pass that second room, 
We're not, right? No. Okay. So we went to the curios room. Yep, we're going to the curio room. She needs to eat. She cannot eat. That's two damage, four damage because she's level two. Ouch. Yep. Not bad, though. She can heal herself. Yeah, she's not too worried about it. We couldn't let the All crusader... Alright, so Curio's room. We roll ten-sided die. Yep. On one to five, it is a attack. It's a fight. There we go. We wanted the Curio, didn't we? Well, we get the Curio. Regardless, we're in the treasure chamber. Level five. Two, three, four. It's okay. six. Oh, six. Yeah. That was time. Five. Six. Right on. We do get some chests. Do you have the chests? I over do. There? You do. Well, I do. I do. We got one, two. Let's get one chest, actually. Oh, just one. Okay, so the treasure chamber, the way it works is you can loot the chest in area A. Cost you two actions to draw a trinket. We can only do that once. And in area B, you can hide and heal when there's no monsters here. You can spend an action to suffer two stress and remove all of your damage. Oh. All of it. <laughs> he might be. I know where I'm making a beeline towards. Well, let's find out how many unholy we pull first. Oh, okay. Please. All right. Where are we going to start here? Oh, oh, we yeah. start spread out. Yeah, the crusader goes yeah but that's a lot of health to heal up. It is. Okay, oh, we start out with a level 3 bone bearer. <laughs> Resistance to stun, immune to bleed. I don't like it, Papa Smurf. Hey, he heals his party members. He yeah. what? Yeah, and he's unholy. Although we'll just uh, we'll hang on to that fact for a minute. A bone bearer. Well, I don't like. Good thing I stacked all the level threes right on top. I don't like. I didn't. But all of these bad guys. No, these unholies are bad, especially with the stress we're taking. All right, I'm gonna find him in a minute. What else have we got? We got a level two gargoyle, your favorite. Oh my goodness. We have a level two rattler. You want to flip this card over? <laughs> and we have a level one bone defender. All right. So we have a rattler, a gargoyle, Here's your gargoyle. Oh boy. Here's your little tiny rattler. Rattler. Right, that's the guy was in there. Look at this. Oh I think he might be goodness. in this. Goodness, look yeah. at this dude. Yeah, he's quite the fanfare. Wow. And he is he's like the herald of the What's the other one? A bone defender. Mm-hmm. Does he have armor? Yes. He does. And so does the gargoyle. Bunch of jerks. You managed to pull two twos and a three. I did. Yeah, this actually is all the same space. It's all the same space, yep. So two that twos stays. and a three. Twenty two health, seven health, thirty health. Bruh. Wow. Bruh. Can we give up now? Is that possible? <laughs> we just walk away. I think. Sorry, no. We, we went. We were looking for the bathroom. Can we? <laughs> any directions would be nice. Pardon me, sir. Do you have any grave poupon? Um. Oh my goodness. You ready? This. <laughs> we're ready to die. Yeah, I oh, guess. Wait a second. We're not done. Unholy, oh, we unholy, have to... unholy. That's three stress each. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is not good. No. Is... Super not good. Super not good. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Mr. Gargoyle gets to go first. 
Okay. He's in the first spot. He wants to do a number nine. So he two. wants to do a lash of the tail against the closest one space away. So it'll be at the highwayman. Yep. Crit chance two, accuracy seven. Okay, that's a hit for three damage. One stun. <laughs> I'm at death's door again. Uh uh Yeah, huh? Stun, which means you lose one of your two actions. And a push of one. So he pushes me one? He can't push me one. Hmm? Oh, he pushes me one there. Pushes you one there? Yeah, you're right. He can't push you one further away in the map. He did push you in the shuffle. Okay? Yep. All right. Crusader's up. You need to roll your hopeless dice. Game over, man. Game over. Mm -hmm. I'm still good. Nobody listens to you anyways. All right. We haven't for uh, six dungeons well, now. Well, I'm making a beeline over here, so I'm going one and hitting that dude. Okay. Um, with... He's unholy, so smite. But he's got armor. He does have armor. But I'm going to take half of his health away right now. Okay. Hopefully. All right, so I've got accuracy 10, crit 1. Ooh. Man, I could have used that buff. Yep. Dag gum. Oh, well. How much damage? Uh, 11 damage. But it's 11, he has armor, so it's, uh, what, 6? Six? 6. 6 damage. Six hit. 4 left. <laughs> and that's all I have. Okay. Alright. Grave Robber's next. Come on, Grave Robber, finish him off. Alright, probably so, huh? 4 damage. Can you do it? Just 4? Just 4. I don't have a shot on anybody else, though, but... I'm wondering if it's better to well, that, that, uh, ignore his armor. Accuracy, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know that I want to climb up here, but I might need to just so you don't get attacked. You said you're at Death's Door? No, he's Crusader. at Death's Door. Crusader, yeah, Highwayman's at Death's Door. Okay, well her speed is one, two, three, okay. All right, well, first of all, I'll just... Uh, I think I didn't remove one of these buffs last turn. I'll throw a dagger at that guy. No, I'm not going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move in. I'm only going to move in for one reason, and that's to hopefully get a crit and give you a little bit of buff Retrieve. there. Yeah, so I'm going to pick the face. Pick to the face. <laughs> crit chance, three. And crit chance three, accuracy nine. Come on, let's get a crit. There it is. Yes. So he takes seven damage, which ignores armor. Ooh, yep. he's dead. He's dead. He's deed. And then we each get a stress relief. Look at us dispatching the level one hero. And the level, the level <laughs> one guy? The level one, two. Oh, man. We need to get stress relief. Okay, so yes. I go down one. Okay, that's our turn. We'll oh take it. My. All right, highwayman. Please, highwayman, please, highwayman. Nope. Crap. Okay. So, so the, the rattler. rattler. He's in defensive position. It's a one. He wants to do a two. He wants to do a snake bite against the furthest. And he wants to do one away. So one, two, one, two. So that defaults to the Crusader. And he wants to be one away. And he wants to be one away. Yep. Okie doke. Snake bite is crit chance two, accuracy nine. Hit. Hold on. Mm -hmm. 
It's accuracy nine. Mm -hmm. So if I use plus one, it doesn't it's it still gonna help be eight? Yeah. Yep. Oh well. All right. So what's the what's the uh, damage? Five damage and two bleed for three turns. Five damage. So we'll just make that a ten. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Still surviving. Staying alive, staying alive. Okay. Well, alrighty. Here we go. Highwayman's next. Highwayman. Highwayman. He only has one action. One action. So I can only do a sh pistol shot. And you can eat one of these. Eat one of these. You could bandage yourself for one health. Bandage myself for one. <laughs> yep. So. Not at death's door anymore. Okay, I am going to just do a uh, pistol shot. Um, yeah, pistol shot. Accuracy 10, crit 2. On the gargoyle. So, 8. It's just a hit. So pistol shot is seven. Um, Four damage. But I think I'm gonna. Nah, that's gonna. This that just gives him one, one more, more damage. Yep. So I'm not gonna do it. Okay. That's all I can do. That's it. But that gets really much done. All right. Bam. Bam. Vestal next. All right. So he has three left. Of course, the big guy's back there. He is resistant to stun. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am going to do something crazy. <laughs> I'm going to move forward. Man, walking in here was crazy. Yeah, fair enough. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to dazzling light this dude. <laughs> You're going to use sparkle fingers against the standard bearer? Uh, he's resistant. No, I'll lose one. I need to get that thing to level two. I wanted to. If I could stun him for one turn and not have him do anything, that would be That would be fantastic. awesome. Fantastic. All right. But he's I, resistant? He's resistant. Oh, I can't no. do it. All right. I'm going to do... He needs three more. Okay, I'm going to do Judgment first on the Gargoyle. That's right. Judgment Judge that Gargoyle. Crit Chance, three. Alright. And what's his dodge? Two. Yes. So Crit Chance, three. Accuracy, eight. Yes! So we each get a Stress Relief. Mm, oh. Ooh, look at that. Accuracy. And then, so the damage on that is ten, five. And she heals three mm, herself. He's deed. We're going to get the Vestal a t-shirt that says, <laughs> I am the law. Sparkle fingers on the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I only have two cards left, just so we know. Oh. <laughs> Although we only have one enemy left. There we go. Um, All right, the Bone Bear. He's now in the defensive stance. So he's going to do a two. He's going to want to do... Uh, that's two. Yeah. yeah. So that is the defend. defend the defend the what? The iron? The iron? The icon. Defend, okay, the, defend icon. the icon. Okay. Closest. Font choice. Yep. Hard to read upside down. Yeah. Defend the icon. Defend All right. the icon he wants to do against the closest. He wants to be one space away. He wants to do that against the highwayman. Oh dear. And crit chance two, accuracy. That's seven. not a roll. Accuracy roll. eight. That's not a roll. It's not a roll. <laughs> Bam! He missed! And that's a miss. Put down that stupid flag, you dummy. No, <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> oh. All right. Round two. Anybody got to say their uh, goodbyes or their prayers or their... Um, no, not yet. All right. Although the Crusader's going to have to uh, 
He'll well, be a death store after he bleeds. He can heal himself, though, right? He can, but he's going to take the bleed first. Yeah. Well, just don't heal yourself and then attack yourself. You're I'll try sick. not. I'll try Jeez. to remember not to do that. Thank you. My fingers are not working. Goodness gracious. Just like many other little sets of cards, I need oh. to go grab some sleeves for these things. Yeah. All right. Crusader's up first. Okay. Bleed. Yep, bleed for two, puts him at death's door. 24 hit points. Roll your hopeless dice. Nope. I'm good, I'm better than good. I don't think he's failed one of those in like um, three, five, three or four dungeons. Let's see. He definitely needs to heal, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't heal you. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm wondering, should I run through here? No, that puts me in line to get hit by this dude, right? Mm -hmm. I can weather one of these better. So I'll just stay there. So I'm going to heal first. So I have an accuracy of 4. I'm sorry, 14. Crit chance 2. Alright, so I heal 3. And Get my the scroll. second attack. Oh my goodness, that thing has 22, 22 hit points. 22 hit points, and the other guy's got 30. Good night in the morning. All right, um, and then I just have to zealously accuse because I can't do anything else. So, accuracy 10. Crit 1. Crit 1. <laughs> Where are those buffs when I need them? Six All right, damage? so six damage. You're gonna have to give me a five, huh? And I'm go. five shy over here. All right, look at that. That's me. Okay. Next on the list, that would be the rattler. Here he goes. He wants to do an eight. He wants to do a one. He wants to do a warning rattle. Hey. To himself. Yeah, do that, man. Warn yourself all you want. Okay. So he gets two buff. He gets a buff for he two. He gets a buff for two turns. He gets a shield for one turn. And he gets a repost for one turn. You have that over there. Yeah. Bro, you can rattle all you want. I'll even dance to the rattle. Mm -hmm. you, keep, you keep on buffing yourself up. Okay. You're up. Next card. That would be <laughs> that guy. All right. He wants to hit me again, doesn't he? Eight. He wants to do a three this time. An unholy rally. He wants to be two away from the most wounded, and he wants to heal it up. So he wants to heal this guy for... How many did that say? All. It just says all. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he doesn't even have a roll for it? No, I know. Nope, he doesn't have to roll for it. Oh my goodness. That dude is a jerk. <laughs> he just heals your rally. Uh, okay. Um, what's this armor for? That's the... Uh, oh, shield. Yeah, the shield. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong one. Wrong one. Okay. My bad. So. Oh, that was so bad. Yep. That was. So, he totally negated my turn. Yeah. Alright, Grave uh, Robber's turn. Yes. So for this turn, he has Repost, which means he deals half damage back. That's the Rattler, though. Mm uh hmm. -huh. You need to take care of somebody else that's standing right in front of you. This guy? Oh! I'm way over there! Grave robber, stupid. That rattler is standing right in front of me. Although I may just come over here. And that guy is... I'm going to blight that sucker. Okay. <laughs> Poison dart. Let's get some blight going. So that's four. That's a hit. Three damage plus the blight. I got the damage. Okay. Three, three, three. You went against the bone bear? Yep.
Okay, and that is her turn. So it's Highwayman's turn. That's all we got left. All right, Highwayman is going to um, uh, do... Is he immune to... Uh, no, he's not immune to debuff or resistance to it, but it's only one turn. He's unholy? Mm-hmm. Oh, it doesn't help. Does he bleed? No, he's immune to bleed. If it bleeds, we can kill it. If it doesn't, we're screwed. <laughs> um, we'll just do pistol shot then. Pistol shot two. Mm. Or should I move and do wicked slice? That puts him right in the line, but I'm going to do it. And wicked slice. Accuracy 10. Crit 1. 2. Alright, so I think that good. What's his? Dodge of 3. Oh, dang it. That's a miss. That's a miss. Noodle Nuggets. Alright, that leaves the Vestal. Yep. Alright, I still can't stun him. So, question is, do I attack him or do I just heal you up? You're down 16? Uh, yes. Man. <laughs> Alright, well first thing I gotta do is Divine Grace to heal you up. Crit chance, 4. There's a 4. Yeah! That'll go down 1 and you get 7 hit points back. 7? Mm-hmm. Woohoo! So I'll turn that in for three. And then I'm going to do a judgment on him. Crit chance, two. Accuracy's ten, so accuracy's seven. I'm going to attack him. Oh, Look at these crits. One right yeah. after the other. That is ten damage. Smackaroonie. At least somebody's doing work here. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I was you better making fun hope. of the grain robber. You better hope <laughs> the Crusader and Iron Man didn't hear that. <laughs> we gonna have words when we get back to the Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna heal that up too. While I'm at it, it was with that judgment. <laughs> I think she could take you. <laughs> Pretty sure she could take you anyways. This is all right. Here we go. Still no bueno. Crusader's turn. Crusader gets to go feist. He still got repost. Oh, because he hasn't gone yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how does tell me how are they going to repost a zealous accusation? I don't know if they can repost a ranged attack, honestly. I was wondering, I was thinking about that a minute ago. I don't yeah, I think don't... it can repost at range. I think it has to be close melee. That would make sense. I'm pretty sure that's true. Um, so, with that being said, we're going to heal. It could be wrong, but I think that's true. Well, yeah, we'll check later. Um, all right, we're going to heal first. Uh, crit 3, accuracy 14. All right, so that heals me for three more. Nice. So that turns into seven. Um, and then we'll zealously accuse that stupid snake. Acker, that's a miss because he probably has. Um, yeah, that would have been accuracy eight. Dodge so that's two. a miss. Huh? Okay. Now dodge a two. Yeah, accuracy. It's accuracy ten. Yep. Okay, Grady Robert's next. Grady Robert is going to poison dart this guy. Yeah, yeah. Crit chance two, accuracy eight. Is that caught. caught? Give me that back. Okay, so that would be a hit for three damage. He's at 
16. Yep, so I'll just get a 5. I got a 6 right there. No, you didn't, okay. Yep. Then we give him another triple blight for 3 turns. I think he's going to bleed for 6. And then I'm going to throw a dagger at him. Crit chance, 7. Crit chance, or crit 7? Crit chance, 3, accuracy, oh, was I, 7. Woof! That's a hit again for six damage plus two because he's blighted for eight more. So that puts him at 20. That six will turn into 14. Yeah, 24. You got uh, it? Yeah. So he's going to die as the start of his turn. It's 24 plus six. Yeah, that's cool. Highwayman. Highwayman is up. So, so that dude's dead. Yeah. I am going to move Uno, Dos, mm. and use that special ability of healing. Taking two stress and healing all of your health. Wait, taking two stress? Taking two stress. Mmm. You're going to have to take a... I'm going to do it. One, two. Look at that. All right, roll your resolve. A one or a two is a good thing. Nope. Otherwise, you are now irrational. <laughs> well, we all knew that anyway. <laughs> we all knew that anyway. But you're full health. But I heal all that mess up. Okay. All right. This guy's turn. One, two, three. Oops. So he does get plus one crit. He does get plus one crit. And he wants he to do it. a one. No, he wants to do a snake bite. No, he wants to do a warning round. No, because these three. What did you roll? A one. Yeah. A one. To oh, two a, two. a two. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You got it. He wants snake to do a bite. snake bite against the closest, furthest. The furthest, and he wants to be one away. So he wants to do it against the vestal. And does he, he has three movements? Plenty of move. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's gonna shoot up there. Do a snake bite. Crit chance two, accuracy nine. And it comes to squeeze. There's a nine. That's a hit. For what, was, what was the accuracy? Nine. No. Hit for five damage. And two bleed, bleed for two three, bleed turns. three turns. Man. She's immune to bleed, so it's two bleed for two turns. Resistant, not immune. Or immune. Resistant, yep, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, that was his turn. Vestal's up. So, she's going to take two bleed. Seven. I will go ahead this time. Yep, alright. This time I'm going to use Dazzling Lights first against the Rattler. Mm -hmm. Critical chance, two. Accuracy, seven. Got it. Okay, well, it's only two damage. But he skips his next turn. So we raise this up one one torch level, mm -hmm. and he loses his next turn. That's good. Okay, and then for her second action, she just can't get down there to help any of those guys. She could just. I think she's just going to heal herself. Gonna be greedy and do a divine grace on herself. Yeah, she's good. Crit chance four, so that's a crit. Back down there, she heals seven. Wait, divine grace? Yeah. Okay, yeah, zero to one now. Yeah. Okay, that was her turn. So that means it's that guy's turn. Yep. He's gonna, He's gonna light out. out. I got this. Okay. He went so bad Oof. with me. Oh, what did I do? You messed everything <laughs> up. I tried to rearrange them so they were more in our favor. <laughs> I, you think you failed at that, <laughs> too. All right, so that puts us at... Round three. Round three. <sighs> Stupid snake. Get out of here. There you go. That dude's crazy. Yeah, that dude was pretty nuts. But two of his things affected others. He just had the one attack. 
affected his team. Yeah, that's true. So I'm glad it didn't heal more than than. It was a heal whatever damage it was. So if it had been against somebody that had 20 damage, I he know. Could the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. That's nasty. Yeah. All right, here we go. Starting with Crusader. Okay. Um. Crusader will. Might as well. I'm going to use the uh, speed stone. Still ain't going to get there. No, oh, no. I see what you're doing. To come up here. And then... It takes two actions to dig out that tree. Oh, it does? Mm -hmm. Okay, well then I'll just zealously use that stupid snake again. Alright. You and your cursed rattler be gone. I think I missed again. I think you did. I did. Right on. Okay. He just can't hear me. That's the problem. It's his turn. He does nothing. Okay. Grave robber's turn. We're straight down the line. Okay, so I can pull a trinket. Or I could just try to kill that dude. Well, we... I should pull a trinket. <laughs> Especially since we haven't pulled a trinket ever yet. Sure. I'm going to pull a level 3 trinket, our first one. What is it? Warrior's Ring. Wow. Plus four crit if you're in the aggressive stance. Minus two accuracy if you're not in the aggressive stance. Look at that. You get a treasure. But you can't give it to me right now, can you? No, no, not technically. Yeah. I won't use it before then. Okay. That's pretty bad. Plus four crit for one attack. Wow. That could be really big. Hey, yeah, that's your turn. So Highwayman is next. Highwayman is next. Um, he does have range two, he, right? He does have range two with uh, his pistol shot two. Um, We're only in round three, so thinking about it, you could run over here and grab a treasure chest. And then she could try to stun him again. Bro, we gotta do 20 damage to that thing. You don't think in four one of round? us in one round could do 20 damage? No, uh, oh, we can't. Oh. We can do it. <laughs> Look, four people can sit there. <laughs> you need to stop running through these dungeons with dollar signs in your eyes. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> oh, come over here. Do it. Flip it. All right. You want me to roll for money or get or another you die? Can pick a die. Let's That's get a die. Let's let's do. Um... Does the torch help us though? I say we roll for money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Eleven. You got the money over there. We'll take it. I think that's worth it. <laughs> if <laughs> we're not gonna lose, come on now. <laughs> All right. So the vestals, hopefully next. Look at that. Vestals next. Oh, well, the vestals already next. He already buy it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm even counting. All right. So vestals next. I am going to do dazzling light. Now, before I do that, I'm going to judgment him. So, crit chance, 2. Accuracy, 8. Okay. Got him. That's a hit for 5. And secondly, oh, well, that'll, I took my 2 bleed, but then I'll heal for 3. So, that'll get rid of that. Oh, and the second one, I'm going to dazzling lights him. Which I probably should have done first, but crit chance, 2. Accuracy seven. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, wait a minute. Sage's book. Accuracy plus two when you are in last stance. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All nice. right. Do it. Now all of our stuff is exhausted. Okay. So that would be damage two. That moves our torch up to five. Oh, we lost the crit one. We lost the crit. Well, we got the extra dodge. See, it's nine damage on twenty-two though, so we got to do thirteen and points that of damage. Stuns him. Yeah, now I'm feeling pretty good. All right, so round four. Wherever he goes, doesn't matter. Go ahead, Crusader. He doesn't get to do anything this round, so all you gotta do is kill him. Hmm. <laughs> Um, 
Um, you can do it. What are you going to do? Are you going to go heal? Do it. Can the rest of us handle that, though? Sure. <laughs> are you sure? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got it. Go do it. Go heal. What's the worst that could happen? We get kicked <laughs> out of this room. Let's do it. You got to live it on the edge. You got to take too stressed to do that, though. Oh, I do? That's worth it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I am flirting with roll that. that while you're there. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. one to three. Everybody, Everybody gets plus takes one. Everybody stress. <laughs> Banging my head against the wall. Hey, game over, man. Game over. Everybody's like, somebody shut him up. You're healed. You got to give me one of those bleeds. Oh, jeez. Well, well I would have bled first and yep. then. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, one of these has got to go away. Okay. Well, we, at least we made it exciting. Grave robbers next. I'm feeling much better. <laughs> you think? All right. So which one's got the best damages here? Three. Oh, I guess I need to. Okay, I know I can do. If I hit, I can do seven damage to him. Okay. Well, I need to. Uh, we need to figure out when he's stunned and when he's not, and when he took his turn because. That will matter on if you take bleed or blight from something. Mm -hmm. So, right? Yes. So I need to know if he's already taken his turn or not. Which he has. Okay. okay. That'll clear it up for us. All right. So the grave robber's first. So I need to do. He went first. This one. Or he went first, but the grave robber's next. Yeah. Crusader already went. No mm -hmm. grave robber. Mm mm mm. Well, I'm going to throw a dagger at him first then. Crit chance is only two. Can't do that. Crit chance is two. Accuracy is eight. Alright. So that is six damage. So that puts him at 15. Okay. For her second attack. She will do Poison Dart, crit chance is 1, accuracy is 9. Got it. That was a 7. Yeah, that was a 7. So that's 3 more damage. We're getting close. Come on now, 18. My yeah, plan is working out. I think we got it. Alright, Highwayman is next. <laughs> <laughs> got two chances. Favorite last now. words. Two chances. Here we go. Pistol okay. shot, accuracy 10. Will your pistol shot kill him if he Eight. Hits? Yeah. Nice. It's got, he's got seven damage, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, accuracy, accuracy eight, crit chance one. That's a hit. All right. That's the end. Seven See, damage. My plan worked <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, all right, so this comes away now. All right, we get a curio. One of us gets to take that curio. One of us. Uh, yep. Um, I would, I would nominate the Vestal. All right, Vestal will take it. Go ahead. All right, a sarcophagus. I get plus one stress. I get one bleed for three turns. There's, I see gold stashed inside. <laughs> Dollar signs, baby. I get a disease. Oh, wait. Jeez. I got tapeworm. <laughs> and every time I roll a hunger That's dice, disgusting. I take a bleed for four That's turns. This... Oh, no. <laughs> and I get ten, and we get ten gold out of that. Oh, a tapeworm. Goodness. We haven't seen that one. That's awesome. So ten Man. more. Look ten how much gold? money I've made us this round. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright. So, whatever we do, we gotta protect him. All we're gonna do is scout. <laughs> we're gonna scout and see if it's a torch. Okay. Scout. Scout. Because we're greedy. Because I'm greedy. It's not a torch. <laughs> so, that's a lot of damage. What is that? Huh? That's a trap room. That's a trap room. Oh, mm -hmm. man. 
On a trap rim, you we just take two damage each um, to either stress or health each. And that's based on our level, so or based on the dungeon level. So. Oh, so it would be four and four. No, nope, it would be two and two. It was one and one, one for for. Oh, we're in third level dungeons. It would be three now. Three oh. each. Oof. So three damage each. We'd have. But that's to, all that happens, though. Yeah. We do have to explore to get there, and explore to the next one. <laughs> um, we are going to lose the Crusader, I think. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. This bleed goes away. We do not want to lose the Crusader, so if we think we're going to lose the Crusader, then we should leave with our one lead Well, I mean, here's, here's the thing. I'm, I'm no, I know. two let's, away from dying. No, all right, let's get out then. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, we're done. We're we going back to the hamlet. Tuck and tail, so somebody can have that. Absolutely tuck and tail. So you might as well give it to him. Uh, to, to the lowest. Get here. And then somebody can heal for one. Which That's that so many of you guys. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right. We can slam shovels against the walls. I don't and... know about all this, man. Level three is the business. You gotta reshuffle that deck, too, to make sure Dang. you're all right. Back to the hamlet. Back to the hamlet. I beg you, deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadow of the darkest dungeon. <laughs>